so lately a couple buddies that I know have been in motorcycle incidents. Now let's call them accidents. Really sometimes makes you think. So, quick story. I have a couple fellow YouTubers and guys that I think I can call friends that have recently been in accidents and um, without getting into too specifics you may know who they are if you are a youtuber and part of the the normal group I think that follow each other uh, one was uh, on an exit ramp where there was and I don't know all the details so I'm so I'm summarizing here where there's a bunch of dirt and gravel and and uh, you know, you don't want to lean the bike over too far sometimes, and you don't do that, so you straighten it out a little bit, and you get caught at the edge of the road, and once you get caught, you know, that goes, you're done, right? So the second guy that I was just actually at a, a meetup with in Ohio had a blowout on his back tire. Don't know a lot of details about that other than, you know, there was a crash. I think it was on the side of the road. Wasn't too bad. Both guys doing good, hurt their bikes. Obviously, that's more important uh, that they're okay, first of all. Um, and then I have a, a good buddy, and I, I think he would be okay me mentioning his name. Uh, many of you that follow me know Ty from Tennessee is a good friend of mine. And a few years back, he was in a awful, awful motorcycle accident with his beautiful bride and um, could have lost his life. Months and months of recovery, total bikes. And to this, his, to this day, and that's kind of the subject here for me, is his wife doesn't want to ride anymore. And you know what? I don't blame her. I think that's great. And, uh, you know, they really talked about it as a couple and worked toward it. As a matter of fact, I did an interview with both of them um, kind of as they were recovering and I'm going to link that in the description and I'm going to put that at the end of this video so you can kind of see my interview with Ty and his uh, and his wife talking about the the accident you know when you when you hear his wife say you know I'm laying on the ground looking over at him and I thought he was dead you know that stuff kind of hits you and then recently you know these two incidents within the last week um kind of makes you think. Oh, I have another buddy that refuses to have conversations about motorcycle accidents. As a matter of fact, depending on what I title this, he's not going to watch um, because he doesn't want to talk about it. Now, you know, there's a lot of, uh, we can easily have a conversation about training, motorcycle maintenance, and I don't know the details of those two incidents, honestly, so I can't talk intelligently about either one of them, where it was rider, driver air, rider air, or you know something that happened to the motorcycle. You run over a nail, you pop a tire. I mean, there's a lot of things that could have happened that um, we take the risk on. And uh, you know, I don't know. It's been uh, been one of those things that you know over the last week. You just want to make sure your buddies are okay, first of all. Second of all, is you don't want to take this um, this turn here so hot. Um, focus, Bodie, focus. But you know, it kind of makes you think. Is you know, first of all, I got another buddy that says, "Hey, these things happen in threes. and I'm like, "Dude, stop that! Stop that!" I guess we got to wait for one more before we can move on. No. Um, but wondered if if you ever been in a motorcycle accident, and did that stop you from riding? Stop you riding from a while? Were you on the bike the next day? Did you get it totaled and you went and got a new bike and you're right back up on it? Um, I would like to think that after I recovered um, and the bike was good, that I would continue to ride. But you know what? I haven't been in an accident like that, so I can't say that. I don't know. It does make you think. It makes you think that we always got to be focused when we're riding. Be aware of uh, surroundings. Be aware of you know, things that ultimately may hurt us on the road, you know. When you're out in the country, you can 
get hit by this. I don't know. That's all I have for you, folks. Love to hear your comments. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hoping my two buddies get better soon. Make sure to check out that video. Um, Ty from Tennessee. That'll be here in a minute where you can click on that and go right to it. Because it's pretty cool stuff. He's got a great channel. And uh, it's a reminder this past week that all of us going to remain focused, vigilant, continue to train, and uh, make sure we're taking care of each other. Be safe out there, folks. Check in a friend. And we'll see you on the next one.